Hi, I'm Miguel Vacuna, and you might remember the back of my head from such famous coffee films as Coffee Man and Barista, and the sequel, Barista 2, Electric Boogaloo. I work for Sweet Bloom Coffee Roasters, and today I'm going to go over how to brew a Kalita uh, Wave 185 Ceramic. Sounds weird. Today I'm going to show you how to brew with the 185 Ceramic Kalita Wave. What I'm going to do is start off with rinsing the filter to ensure I get all that paper aroma and taste out of my coffee. Then I'm going to weigh my coffee. And I'm going to start with a 1 to 17 brew ratio, meaning one part coffee to seven parts water. And I'm going to use 18 grams of coffee to 305 grams of water. And we use grams because mass is more accurate than volume. And when it comes to making an amazing cup of coffee, accuracy is key. Not only for making it taste good, but consistency across the board. So now that I have my fresh ground coffee, I'm going to add it to the brewer. I'm going to level off and have a nice flat bed of coffee to start with. I'm going to tear my scale. I'm going to take 200 degree Fahrenheit water and I'm going to add 50 grams of that water into the brew, nicely, gently saturating all the grounds. Here, it's really important to make sure that all the grounds are saturated to start an even extraction. This is going to displace any of that gas inside the coffee outwards, which we call the blue. And now that it's done bubbling, I'm going to start pouring 10 grams in a kind of north, east, south, west kind of fashion, making a cross. This really kind of helps with a nice even extraction, just kind of pouring the water all across the bed without giving it too much turbulence or agitation. It's just really nice and controlled. And I'm going to do that to 150 grams. At that point, the bloom has kind of leveled off, and now I'm just going to maintain that coffee bed. With 25 gram pours, about every 15 seconds. Again, here I'm just going to maintain this coffee bed with a nice steady input, kind of reading my output. Oh, see, I need, I need to start adding a little bit more, which is about every 15 seconds. And then once I get to about 280 grams, I'm going to allow the coffee bed to kind of dome down a little bit, and then I'll start pouring towards the edge. This is going to ensure that all the grounds are being activated throughout the whole brew process and that we're not stuck with any high grounds or low grounds getting over or under extracted. And we should have a nice level bed as the waters flowed through. So if everything's rocking and rolling the way you want it, a brew should last about two minutes and 30 seconds to almost three minutes. And this is about 245, which is perfect. I'm going to give that a nice little swirl, smell those aromatics. Today, uh, we're using Hometown, which is a really amazing blend of Colombian coffee and two Ethiopians, a wash and a natural. And the aromas, it's really chocolatey and nice and fruity from that natural Ethiopian. And this is primarily what we use in espresso, but it makes an awesome filter coffee. Thanks for joining me in the lab. I hope you learned a thing or two about brewing. And I hope you have a, a great day.